Hello, my beautiful souls. I am the Awakened Dreamer, and I'm here to give you your daily tarot reading for today, October the 26th. I more than appreciate all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions, so definitely do all of which uh, if you haven't yet. And uh, I do want to mention that uh, on this channel, I do shuffle uh, and pull, um, I take flyer or um, jumper cards, as I call them. I just felt the need to clarify that there was a comment or two in regards to the, um, how I shuffle. You know, all tarot readers out there, as you probably know, because I'm sure I'm not the only one you watch, uh, shuffle differently. And that is just how I go about it. In a way, if you, the way you should think about it is spirit, my guide, or my guides are basically uh, pushing or shoving the cards out of the deck in that manner. So you can just think about it that way. But I meditated on the collective's overall energy for the day. And the message that came through was sorting through emotions, sorting through emotions. And I feel like uh, today is going to be a very peaceful day overall, uh, but a bit sleepy. So don't be surprised if you're feeling a bit burnt out or just tired. Um, it'll go hand in hand with the peaceful vibe of the day. But let's get started. Let's first pull a message or two from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. Oh, and I do apologize for not coming out with a, um, or posting a daily read yesterday. Um, I just needed a day off. I truly apologize to those who are looking forward to the daily read. Uh, feeling a bit burnt out with Mercury and Retrograde. But what do we have, Spirit, to begin this daily read? Alrighty, we have two right there. First off, Inner Temple Devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart. It's a day to listen to your inner voice. You know, what, what is your heart telling you to do throughout the day? What is your, your soul, you know, screaming for you to accomplish or to do throughout the day? You most definitely need to listen to it as well as I will feel the need to say, listen to your body when it comes to who you spend time with or what you decide to accomplish. You know, if you're feeling because it's a sleepy kind of maybe burnt out day, uh, if you're feeling like you can't push yourself any further or your body's kind of screaming at you in that sense, listen to it. Very important today. Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. Yeah, I really feel like, did you hear me just get a bit overwhelmed? I feel like there might be a lot of energies around you recently that are maybe stressing you out or just situations that are draining you depleting you of your resources, your energy, if you will. And I feel like it's a good day with the kind of peaceful vibe in the air to ground yourself. Uh, you can see this sort of meditation stance going on here in this card. That's very much so what spirit wants you to do today. Take time to do what's right for you. Uh, you know, take care of your mind, body, and soul today. Meditation can definitely come in handy. Walk in nature if you can. I personally can't because it's a rainy day. But, you know, do what you can to ground yourself. And if you're an empath, make sure you are clearing uh, or cleansing your energy, rather. Super, super essential because you don't want to be holding on to other people's stressful or toxic energies. I want to make sure you're only uh, make, making sure you have control over your energy at all times throughout the day. Let's continue by pulling four tarot cards for the day. Some shuffling. One shuffle down. Second shuffle. All righty, Spirit, what do we have to continue this daily read for our beautiful collective? Thank you, Spirit. I'm being told these should be for the end of the day. You want me to just pull the last two from the top? Okay. 
All right, my friends. So we're starting off with the world card for the first one. Bear with me. I was just uh, deciding whether I should show you the bottom of the deck and I'm not going to. So the world card. Letting go of emotional stress or, you know, I feel like it's going to be easy today to slip into a mindset where you focus on maybe what happened yesterday or, or in the previous days, you know, recently in regards to what we were talking about with stressful energies and things and people that were, you know, maybe not healthy to be around or situations not to be that aren't healthy to be you know, in for you specifically. And so as you can see, it's a day where you just kind of be like, I, I let it go. You know, even if you can't fully be done with that situation for the time being, I just feel like you'll be freeing yourself from that mental burden, at least for the time being, so you can be one with this peaceful day. Realizing that things are changing for you, but it may not feel like it right now, you know? You just may have to wait a bit longer or reach a few more goals before your situation as a whole does improve. And it's side by side with Inner Temple. And it's reminding you that when you are releasing these emotions or these negative thoughts or just your feelings attached to whatever you've been going through, you know, make sure you're still listening to your heart, your soul, your body, all of which as you do release what's no longer or what isn't benefiting you, what feels toxic within. And then we have the Ace of Swords for the second card. When the first half of the day wraps up, you're going to feel like you're going to be in a mindset where you're ready for a new fresh start, a beginning, where you are thinking, you know, far into the future, a few months into the future, whatever timeline it is for you, when you can see yourself starting fresh somewhere, whether it's a job or your home life or just in general, maybe it's a relationship, it just feels like you see yourself starting anew. You see yourself letting go of something or everything in order to rewrite your story, rewrite your life the way you want it to be. You know, putting an end to things that are toxic for you or that make you stressed out at the end of the day. And again, that has a lot to do with going through the day and listening to your body, listening to, you know, what your heart and soul is calling you to do. And I guarantee that it's not calling you to stick around and uh, put up with some BS or deal with emotional um, baggage or abuse if some of you are going through that. Allowing yourself to, to feel more free moving forward, at the very least mentally, until you can separate yourself physically from whatever is uh, stressing you out. You know, and I feel like this is part of that sorting through your emotions, sorting through that mental state you've been in recently. And we can see the birds and being drawn to, allowing you to feel free like a bird where you can eventually you know, get yourself mentally ready for the, the day when you can spread your wings and fly in this new direction. Just feel free in general. And then we have the four of cups for the second half of the day slash spread. I feel like someone's going to offer you something or maybe even... You're going to be invited to do something. Some sort of offer comes in at this point, at the beginning of the second half of the day, and you're just like, all set. Maybe it's just because you don't have enough energy at this point with Mercury retrograde going on to, or what you've been dealing with, to, you know, to socialize or to uh, be a part of it. Maybe a job offer comes in that's just not right for you. And other people can't simply see that that is, um, that you're just listening to your intuition. And Spirit's saying, you're doing the right thing by trusting your gut feeling. By not listening to other opinions around. Because people just may not understand. And it's side by side with this get grounded. And I feel like when so many options are coming in or so many opinions are flowing in. And people are trying to tell you how to live your life for a lot of you. It's very important that today of all days you get grounded because tomorrow and the following days it may not be as peaceful. You may not have the opportunity to get grounded, to clear your mind, 
to maybe regain the energy, uh, those resources that have been maybe a bit depleted or stripped away recently. As well as, you know, being an empath or, you know, highly sensitive to a lot of these energies around you, you just need to uh, do what you need to do at the end of the day to feel fresh, to feel less burdened by those uh, energies. Because it can be overwhelming, right? I know I'm not the only empath, uh, you know, involved in this video. And then Eight of Swords to finish off the day. It feels like you end the day, you know, you have a very peaceful day up until the very end. Something makes you feel like you're trapped or restricted, limited in one way, shape, or form, and you just want out. And again, it's aligned with this Ace of Swords, and I feel like it, you long for this fresh start, for this new beginning, because it'll make you feel less restricted, uh, you know, and it might feel like at times, like at the end of the day, you can't see the way, you can't see the light, and I'm getting a bit emotional, and I feel like don't be surprised if your emotions do surface at the end of the day. You know, and don't don't ignore them. Don't push them away. Because during Mercury Retrograde, these emotions that you haven't sorted through will resurface for a reason. It's Spirit in the universe is way of saying, you know what? Things have slowed down. You haven't dealt with these emotions and these, you know, feelings. You need to deal with them now so that when this fresh start comes, you will feel new you'll feel fresh you'll feel less burdened and um tied down by those emotions let's finish off by pulling a message or two from what i like to call the universe deck what do we have spirit to wrap up this daily read thank you spirit i think we have one more I find a deeper meaning in personal growth um, amid the discomfort. When you're feeling a bit uncomfortable, when you're feeling a bit, you know, restricted and tied down like we've been talking about, it's all about finding a deeper meaning, you know, realizing that it's part of your personal growth. Not, it's not just happening for no reason. It's happening for your benefit at the end of the day and try to get into that mindset. I am the loving energy of the universe. If anybody ever makes you feel, especially today and moving forward, makes you feel like you aren't a loving light in this world, you need to cut that out of your life in one way, shape, or form, at the very least mentally. Allow yourself to remember that you are a loving energy and um, beautiful light in this world that we need. So make sure you're um, reminding yourself of that daily. And when I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. When you're clearing out of these emotions or dealing with them so you can be, you know, part ways with them, when you're sorting through some of these things in your head and th in, within your life today and moving forward, make sure that you're allowing yourself to get into afterwards a joyful, happy, blissful mindset because that's when you attract all the support and guidance you need from the universe. Not to say that your guides aren't always with you to help and support you and protect you, but this is also how you end up manifesting all the beautiful things you want in your life. And that's how you end up uh, attracting new amazing blessings that will be tied to this new fresh start that you truly desire at the end of the day. Beautiful but emotional reading. So with that said and done, if you haven't yet, uh, please do subscribe to my wonderful channel and uh, make sure to like and um, leave me a comment. And I hope you have the most amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.